The Instagram perfect beaches of the Seychelles just can't help looking like a tourism advert at all times. For many years, holidaying here was seen as a luxury afforded only to a small number. However, reflecting a global trend, this group of 115 islands off the coast of East Africa is seeing visitor numbers climb ever higher. From 2008 to 2018, the number of visitors doubled to 360,000, over four times the country's population. Tourism in Seychelles in general is increasing, and that is of concern to conservationists like myself, to sustainable developers like myself, who find that maybe we're reaching a point which experts call over-tourism. And yet tourism is a vital part of this nation's economy, accounting for more than 60% of its GDP. The key issue for the government is working out how to maintain this industry without letting it overrun the place. To preserve the status of these islands as a high-end luxury destination, the government introduced a temporary ban in 2015 on the construction of new hotels on the three main islands. And on further flung islands, the Seychelles practices a one-island, one-resort policy, all with the aim of avoiding becoming a mass tourism destination. Development is kept to a minimum and that it does not really destroy um, what we inherited. And for us to keep the waters clean, you know, the marine environment that is steaming with fish, the attractions that are in there, and that people feel very much, you know, um, that you are in, in an environment which is still very much intact compared to many other places. Luxury hotels are among the biggest sources of pollution in the Seychelles. Many import their groceries from abroad and have around the clock dependence on oil power generators for electricity. This resort, on the island of Silhouette, is taking steps to reduce its environmental impact. For example, a blanket ban on the use of plastic bottles. In one year we managed to save almost around 400,000 bottles of plastic. So it was the first measure we took by starting to produce our own water, which comes from Mount Duban, our own little mountain, and eventually uh, bottling this water and giving it to our clients complimentary. The Seychelles Tourism Ministry says it believes the island could ultimately absorb up to around 500,000 tourists per year. Any more than that, and the worry is that the country's vast amounts of protected natural spaces could come under threat.